Okay, um, in this video I'm going to uh, record um, how to work with uh, standard normal distribution, kind of continuation of 5.1. Uh, this is uh, chapter 5.2, before we work uh, with uh, 5.2 slides, uh, we are going to learn how to work further with the standard normal probability table. Um, so far, we learned based on z-score how to find the area. For example, if we need to find uh, the area for z-score is equal, let's say, um, negative 2.57 negative 2.57 so let's see how we gonna do it negative 2.5 here we have 2.5 and it's coming all the way to 7 here it is so our number is gonna be oops that's not what I meant hold on Okay, one more time. Well, okay, let it be red. T7 here, if T7 here, and uh, our uh, number is 0 0.0051. So Z score for um, negative 2.57. We can put this equal 0 0.0051. Okay, and uh, one let me take from uh, another one. From this case, let's say we want to find um, z score with the value 0. 9, 0 0.9 what we're gonna do in this case so we're gonna take 0 0.9 here it is and because in our case it's gonna be only 0 because 0 0.9 that's mean the second number it's gonna be 0 also right so we are going to take this uh, second position as a 0 and my answer is going to be 0 0.8159. So 0 0.8159. Now let me refresh your memory one more time before I move on. So as you can see, uh, the um, Z score for uh positive uh, the numbers for z score positive it starts with uh 50 percent and goes all the way to geez I, every time it's gonna make a okay and goes or it starts with 50 percent and goes all the way to 99.98 uh, Okay, remember what I told you back then. Uh, if you have, this is zero, this score is zero, this is highest 50%, that starts with 50% to 100%, and that's a positive Z score, just like we have here. And the uh, negative Z score, it's gonna treat from 0% to 50%, right? and from 50% to 100%, which means every time you have less than 50%, that means it's gonna be negative Z-score. Every time you have positive uh, the 50% and higher, that means your score is gonna be Z-score, it's gonna be positive. Now, uh, and we are moving, uh, doing smooth transfer to uh, today's topic. Now, what we're gonna learn today, we're going to do a backwards operation. What does that mean? So,
So let's see. Today uh, we are going to learn how to uh, base, based on given probability because all these numbers in the body, like this one, everything that is given in the body, all these numbers are given in the body. They are oh, these ones from here. Eliminate this z score. It's a probability, it's a percentage. Okay? So a z score gives us percentage, the probability of a percentage that can happen. All right, so let's now learn uh, backwards. For example, if I am given, uh, for example, uh, probability of X for Z score, for Z score that we don't know how much it is, is equal zero point zero zero twenty three zero point zero zero twenty three so let's find it because of probability zero point zero zero twenty three that's mean it's a uh, equal zero point twenty three percent right one and two let me rewrite it I don't like it how it looks like so because you won't be able to see it's equal 0.0023. That is equal. So we move by two positions to the right, which means we multiply by 100. So that will be equal 0.23%. Now, since we have less than even 1%, which z-score we gonna look into obviously it's gonna be negative z-score correct if we would have more than 50 percent we would look into positive z-score so since we have 0 0.23 percent we will uh, look into negative z-score okay let's find it so i i see here um 0 0.01 0 point so i'm looking for Mm. 0 0.0023 so and here it is 0 0.0023 now if I go to the right from here and if I go up so my z-score my z-score is gonna be how much negative 2.8 and three because here is my negative 2.8 here is my 0 0.03 so i get negative 2.83 so i can insist that z score of negative 2.83 is 0 0.23 percent another one um let's see uh we want to take for example Let's say we want to take um, probability of a z score equal question mark is equal, for example, um, 98.42%. So, which means that is going to be equal 0 0.9842, right? To convert percentage to decimal notation we need to divide by 100 dividing by 100 means to move by two positions to the left one and two two positions to the left and i put point there which will be right here 0 0.9842 now to look into a table and find where is 0 0.9842 because 98.2 uh, 98 point, uh, the 98, uh, 0 0.9842 is close to 1. Therefore, I will look close to the end, right? Not close to the beginning because at the beginning I have um, at the 50%. See here? 50%. 
So, but now for 98%, I'm going to look close to the end. And that is gonna be, let me see, 9842. And that is precisely right here, 9842, right here. 9842. And Okay, so which means it's coming this way for uh, z-score and decimal notation for z-score comes this way. Which means we get z-score is equal how much? 2.1 and 5 here, 2.1 and 0 0.05. So if you add to each other, you will get 2.1. Five. So from here we can say that zero point this score two point one five is equal zero point nine eight four two. Are we good? Let me take another example. Let's say um, we need to find probability for um, z score for. Uh, let me see six six. 8078, 0 0.8078. Put on a pause and find the value, what this score is matching, and then open and check. Okay. So, if we look, where is it? 8.08078. It's right here. Which means the z score the, uh, uh, for this probability is going to be. Zero point eight and seven. 0 0.8 and here we have 7 okay but here is the thing not always we are going to be so lucky and find precise value uh, very often value doesn't match the way it's supposed to be for example let's say I want to find let me change the color I want to find probability for uh, z score that is equal, uh, let me see, 0 0.87, uh, 8.780, okay, 0 0.8780, what we gonna do in this case, how we gonna deal with this, so I'm looking, the closest one, Eight seven here is two nine eight seven one nine seven eight seven seven zero and eight seven seven nine. So eight seven eight zero falling right in the middle, right? It's falling right in the middle, which means if I move it up. It's going to come right here, zero point. 065 I can't write there okay and it's gonna be so let me see it this one is coming right here and this one is coming right here so it's gonna be right in the middle of these two which means the z score is gonna be where is it right here 1.1 And here I will have between, between because it is between 0 0.06 and 0 0.07, so will be 0 0.065. Okay, we take right in the middle. Okay. Let me give you another example. 
Um, let's assume we need to find probability for z-score equal question mark. And probability, I mean, find the z-score for probability, uh, let's say, nine free zero point nine free one free nine free one free so you can put the recording on the post and then uh try to locate yourself okay and on my end I can tell you that it is nine. Oh, it's right here. Falling between these two. So that means it's going to come from here. And then going to come from the middle. Okay, so what is going to be z score is going to be equal one point four and here I have eight five because right in the middle these two, right? So it's going to be 8 and 5. Okay. Well, uh, that's all for this table. And uh, now I will record the slide 5.2, the section 5.2, where we are going to use the table uh, the way I taught you. Okay. See you soon again.